What's going on guys? I'm so glad that you're here. This is a five part video series on how I worked with a real client on making a commercial recap film for them. It's not necessarily a step by step process, but I just want to give you a raw, real insight on what this project looked like for me. I made an entire video on this whole process and I'm deciding to break it up into five parts. Part two is how to properly change your frame rate in Premiere Pro. You have no idea how many people don't know how to do this. And two, how much it's gonna save you and your footage in the long run. Having all your footage on a congruent timeline with the correct frame rate is huge. It's gonna help set your films apart in the long run. So before I do anything else, I need to go back to that drone footage. That drone footage is 2997, and that is not gonna go well on a 23976 timeline. So let's jump in. I'll show you how to do that real quick. All right, so we got the first clip here. We're gonna go all the way down to the bottom, shift left click, and then right click, and I'm gonna hit modify. Interpret footage. Assume this frame rate is 23976. Boom, okay. Now, all of that is actually gonna be slowed down by about 75, 80%. I can't think of the math off the top of my head. Um, but now I know that this footage can be slowed down just a little bit, and that's probably actually why the drone op uh, opted to shoot in 2997, is that way just a little bit of slow-mo um, can be pulled back in post. If I wanted to go ahead and fix that, I would go in speed duration while all of these are uh, highlighted. I would actually go to 125 and that would speed up all those clips back to real time. You're probably like, where did you get 125 from? Okay, let me open up the calculator real quick. We're gonna, 2997 is 30 frames per second and 23976 is 24 frames per second. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click 30. So that'd be 30 frames per second divided by 24 because that's what our timeline is now you can see it's 1.25 so every you want everything to be in real time so 100 100 percent playback so i'm going to times it by 100 boom there there's that number of how we get 125 to speed up our footage same thing this is exactly what you would do um, if you're shooting slow-mo um, at 60 frames say 60 divided by 24 is 2.5 2.5 times 100 is 250 so that is how you properly um, slow-mo your footage in Premiere Pro. So then when I've watched this clip in the viewfinder, it should be in real time. Look at that, there it is. Cool. I appreciate you guys watching this video series. Um, please let me know down in the comments what you would like to see in the future. Um, let me know if this helped or didn't help. Um, I really appreciate that you guys spent your time watching this uh, video and I hope you learned something. Leave a comment below on what you learned um, or what you would like to learn. Um, leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and maybe subscribe and tell your friends because your boy could use some help. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Till next time. Peace. I told you organization is key. I like to make a sequence bin. drag and drop right there. And then when you have a bin highlighted, whenever you make a new X, Y, and Z, it's gonna go into that bin. So now I need to make another sequence kind of to cull through the footage. 